Streaming block content overseas has always been about VPN, and sites like Netflix are cracking down on VPN users. Are you a VPN user? Well, Netflix is coming for you, my friend. But don't worry, Smart DNS Proxy to the rescue. Kira and Bamzi from Smart DNS Proxy, and unlike desktop, which we've already seen, streaming block content on your Android and iOS devices can get a little trickier. I highly recommend that you set up your Smart DNS Proxy on your router, which will make it easier to stream block content both on your desktop and your mobile devices simultaneously. But say if you're traveling overseas and you just want to set it up on your iOS device or an Android tablet, here's how you go about it. Okay, we're going to set it up in three simple steps like we did it for Windows and Mac. One is to create your SmartDNS proxy account. Two is to set up your SmartDNS server IP. Three is to activate the server IP in our SmartDNS proxy systems. Now, I would recommend that for steps one and three, you use a computer, which is way more intuitive unless you're an old hack. But if you're a young traveler like me and you only own a smartphone, you could still set up SmartDNS proxy from scratch without a computer. Here's how you go about it. Open up your Android browser and go to smartdnsproxy.com to create a free new account if you haven't already. You basically have to enter your email address, name, etc. and no credit cards required. Now in this case, I already have a SmartDNS account, so I'll just log into it. Now we need to set up a SmartDNS server to, and to do that, you have to go to settings and wireless and networks and then Wi-Fi settings. Find the Wi-Fi you're connected to and the one you want to use your smart DNS with and then long press on the Wi-Fi name to select the modify network option. And under IP settings, use static instead of dynamic IP settings and leave the IP addresses and gateway as it is. And under DNS1 and DNS2, enter two IP addresses that you can see on the screen as we see. Or you can find the complete list by clicking the link in the description below or use the YouTube cards. It's better to use the closest DNS server IP as your primary and another one relatively close as your secondary. For instance, say if I'm in Canada, ideally I'd copy two DNS servers from Canada and if there's only one available in Canada, I'd choose another one nearby, like say Los Angeles or something. Once you've done that, tap the save button. But wait, isn't the save button grayed out? This is an ubiquitous problem. Say if this happens to you, all you need to do is copy the current IP address to the IP address field and do the same with the default gateway. Make sure you enter the same value or it will create network problems. If you're curious about how, you should check out the video in the description below. This will enable your save button. Once you've saved the changes, you've successfully configured Smart DNS Proxy on your Android device. Or if you don't want to go through all this hassle, and you could just simply download Wi-Fi settings app from Google Play Store and set up SmartDNS Proxy Server from there. That's much easier. Step three is to activate your IP address in the SmartDNS Proxy database. You can do that by logging into your SmartDNS account from your computer or simply through your mobile browser. Now you can stream block content without any geo restrictions. But yeah, remember, like I said before in the desktop setup, whenever your IP changes, since you're using a dynamic IP, your SmartDNS Proxy Service will stop working. And you need to re-log in to your SmartDNS proxy account and update your IP address. This will get you back on again. Now let's see how you can set up a SmartDNS proxy on iOS. The steps are pretty much the same for iPad, iPhone and an iPod. Do people even use iPods anymore? For this instance, I'm going to show you the steps for an iPad because, you know, the bigger the screen, the better. But yeah, the steps are pretty much identical. Now assuming you've already created a SmartDNS proxy account, start by going to the settings application and click on Wi-Fi. Click on the network you're currently connected to and tap the DNS field. Fill the DNS field with SmartDNS proxy IPs, which you can see the screen as we speak. I've already explained this in the first part of the video, so jump back into it if you're not sure what I'm talking about. When entering IP addresses, remember to put commas between them without space. And that's it, now you should restart your iPad. And yeah, if you haven't already set up a SmartDNS on your computer, then make sure you activate your current IP address to the Smart Proxy database. You can do that by either logging in to your SmartDNS account from your computer or your iPad or your iPhone. So there you go, that's how you set up SmartDNS Proxy on an Android and an iOS device. 
Like I said before, it's way more convenient and intuitive to set it up on a router. That way, you have access to block content on all your devices without having to set it up individually. Well, that's all for now. If you've got any questions, comment that below and let us know. Do stay tuned for the video about how to set up SmartDNS Proxy on router. As always, like, comment and subscribe. You know the drill, right? I'm Vamsi from SmartDNS Proxy and bye for now.